What up, everybody? Okay, I just want to say something. It is February 8th. It's my sister, my big sister's birthday. First off, happy birthday, Rainy. If you watch this, I hope you're having a great day and enjoying this freakishly warm day. That's the point I'm getting to. We are in central New York, snow capital of the world. It's 60 degrees almost on February 8th. Next week, it's supposed to snow. This is how bipolar Syracuse weather is, okay? Our bodies don't know what to do this year. It goes freezing, 40, 60, freezing, 40, maybe 50. This is the highest it's been all winter, but it's like, I don't remember this ever happening. So if you want to know if global warming is real in an area where weather is normally sporadic and unpredictable, we're seeing it. And we're paying attention. And if we notice when our weather is this bipolar, I think something's up. I think something big is up. And all these weather things is because the earth is like shifting temps. I don't know what's happening, but I don't really like it that much. Even though it's nice for us to have this weather, I'm not complaining. But at the same time, like, we're going to pay for it somewhere, you know? Yikes. But I did also want to comment on something else. Um, it's not about women's rights. That's my, uh, debate tonight. When I get out of work, I have to log in and crush some more chauvinists. <laughs> I think that's a big part of my purpose on earth. Just whatever, when I see somebody being unfairly oppressed, I just go hard until it's done and then I move on. That's why I have 60 million topics all the time. But anyway, here's a topic for you. I, I think we all knew that Travis and Tyler were going to take over the Super Bowl. I do not have a problem with their love story. Do I think it's fake? Yes. And I hate saying that because I'm, I'm rooting for her. I hope, I hope I'm wrong and this is real love and she's genuinely this happy and he's genuinely cool. But as I've said, I don't really have many reservations about Taylor. She's always played her career well. She knows how to how to she knows how to play the game. And she's really good at it. And I'm not gonna hate on a woman for doing what men do all the fucking time. You know? Would I personally fake stuff? No. But I have a bad poker face. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm not judging her like for being all over. It is a bit much for me because I'm just like, I stuff everywhere. Like, but I'm not hating. I mean, think about it. She is bringing more women to the sport. I do appreciate that. But the only thing that I don't like is like, they make a play, they show Taylor's face. They make a play, they show Taylor's face. And I agree with some people. Like, they don't tune into the games to watch Taylor. They are genuine football fans. And it, I could see why they're annoyed with it. Like, here we go again with Taylor stuff. Can we just focus on the football game? Because to Americans, which I know she doesn't understand because she's not one, it's like a religion to some people. And I think that that's what I meant when it's hurting her image. Not worldwide, just with Americans. We kind of get a little pissy when you come over to our sport and make a joke out of it in a way. Because I think Taylor is making a joke out of it. But I'm not against it because I think football is a fucking chauvinistic shit fest. And they deserve everything they get. But I think she's making it uh, propaganda for her albums, for her image and Again, boost yourself up. Do what you got to do. But I'm going to call you on it if I feel it. Doesn't mean I hate her. Doesn't mean I'm hoping that she fails. I hope that she's in love and I hope that I'm wrong. But I have real reservations about Travis. I think he's a sketch. I think he's going to hurt her. And I hope I'm wrong. Maybe he just has bad aura vibes. But I'm a psychic medium. And I just think that. You know, she's a very smart girl. I don't think Taylor can be played at this point. Um, she's got pretty strong armor. She's probably using him just as much if it is fake. So, in the end, she'll be alright. And then other people were saying they got pissed because she promoted her new album 
while winning for something instead of thanking people. I don't think that's a problem. It's free advertising. She is her brand. She is her company. And if you had an opportunity to freely advertise your company, you would take it too. So I don't really understand why people are, are I'm like, I didn't watch it, but did she not say thank you at all and just straight? I don't think she would do that. She probably said thank you first and then, oh, by the way, or at the end said thank you or something, you know. <laughs> and then they were saying uh, something about Celine Dion and how she was awkward. I didn't watch any of it, but maybe Celine Dion had weird vibes. And it just was like a weird thing because of her first time being back in public. And it wasn't really about Taylor and it wasn't really about Celine. It was just like a nervous moment, you know what I mean? I think people read into shit too much. Anyway... I just wanted to get that out there. Women, let's not hate on Tyler just because she is marketing herself geniusly and free advertising and putting herself up. And she will dip off and you'll stop hearing about it so much. You're probably going to hear her songs. But this is what celebrities do. This is their MO. This is how they advertise themselves in this new world. And it's fake as fuck and I don't really much appreciate appreciate it either but this is the new reality and you're in so you can sit and be pissed about it and hate on a woman or you can just hope that woman does it better than the man and for once in that arena turns out better or more on top or more money not that I am for that in the long run I just want maybe that's why people are so pissy because women are starting to play the game better than men good for you Taylor <laughs> but I just don't like the fake that's my only thing but as I said I get it it would be genius marketing use that Super Bowl if that fucker is actually using her use them back sure but that's only gonna set you both back in the end I hope to god I'm wrong and that Travis is not sketch I apologize to Travis if you're not sketch your vibes to me are just like better guard that heart Taylor you better guard it and you better watch your womb it's like he's gonna plant a Travis baby in there ASAP <laughs> and that's just a psychic in there I don't know why I thought that that was the first instinct I was like oh no it's gonna trap trapping trapping vibes run Taylor run but that that's like through the TV I could be picking up someone's vibes that's not Travis. I have to be fair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, can we just stop talking about it? If you hate her so much, you're talking about it more than people who are fans of her. Perpetuating your own insanity. Okay, love you. Bye.